Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hope you all are good at your place. And today we will continue our previous videos. In our previous videos, we have started genetics. Na? So we have start, uh, studied about uh, Mendel's first law of inheritance, that is law of segregation. And second one is law of independent assortment. Okay. And today we will continue with the first law of uh, Mendel that is law of uh, independent sorry law of segregation so what does law of segregation say so according to the law the gene has a pair of gene has we can say a pair of gene has two alleles which is responsible for our character okay so we can say that when as you have studied uh, meiosis and mitosis okay so in the meiosis you have studied that chromosome will divide into two parts okay means chromosome the number of chromosome will become half that is there are 46 pair, uh, 46 total chromosome in a human being na? so uh, we can say that 23 pairs okay so when meiosis occur then we have new form cell and that cell has no pairing of chromosomes that cell has only 23 chromosome half a number of chromosome in one cell and the uh, sister cell has also 23 chromosomes and when the zygote form from these cells then there these both 23 from one cell and the 23 from the another cell will combine and the zygote has 23 plus 23 is equal to 46 chromosome or we can say 20, 46 chromosomes and 23 pairs okay so this Mendel's law first law of segregation law of segregation so he stated that whenever the two alleles of a single gene again listen the two alleles of a single gene or single trait trait means gene will separate randomly and 50% of one gene 50% of allele will go to one cell and the 50% of other allele will go to the other cell so we can say that the number of chromosome will divide okay and gametes have only half a number of chromosomes 46 number of chromosomes they are there but when gamete forms then only 23 chromosome will uh, uh, go in one allele uh, sorry one gamete and the other gamete will have uh, 23 another chromosome and the number of chromosome become half for a particular gamete okay now we will have its example and uh, listen and watch the example is in very interesting way okay so let's have its example so let us start with an example let's take the character tall okay so we have said that dominate character is tall and recessive character is sorry dwarf okay. so for dominance we will take pure traits capital T and capital T will show our dominant character and small t and small t will show our dwarf characters okay in in the same way black is dominant so we will show it like that capital b and capital b and white will show recessive character and small b and small b okay so let's have its cross uh, cross fertilization so we will take the character black and white 
black cross with the character white okay so for black the gene will have capital b and capital b and for white small b and small b when there is a curve gamete formation then each gamete will have just one allele from of a gene that single b and single b here i am writing gametes okay so same is there small b and small b right so when there is occur f1 generation so what will happen this will be cross with this and what will be the results b and small b okay these are just assumptions we don't know what will be the child's or offspring's gene but we can just assume that these can be the possibilities or we can say probabilities of genes of a baby or of offspring so this b will can also be combined with this b okay so this and this b can also be combined with this b so okay so it's a genotypic form so genotypic form is that with which show us genes formation so all our bb means all will be of same genotype and if we see it phenotype capital b means black to so black sorry i have uh, black color is dominant so black will be the uh, offspring or this also we black this can also be black and this can also be black okay so we can say that genotypic all are of b and b okay and phenotypic all are black okay so when we cross when we cross b means f1 generation with f1 generation means when we take two organism from f1 generation so here is also bv and here is also so okay so now what will be its uh gametes so capital b and small b here is also capital b and small b okay so when they will cross when these gametes will combine with each other so what can be its results this b will combine with this b so it's a pure character means black and if this b is combined with this b then it's a mixed form but what will be its phenotypic phenotype phenotype will be black because black is dominant over uh, white okay so when this b will combine with this b then what will be its genotype again capital b and small b and what will be its phenotype black because 
black is dominant over white and when this b is combined with small b again it's a pure trait small b and small b and it's a white okay so when we phenot write phenotypic ratio of f2 generation so what will be its phenotypic ratio black 1 black 2 black 3 and white 1 so black is to white so black is 3 is to 1 okay and what will be its genotypic ratio VB, B capi capital B, capital B1. So, no other combination of this. So, B, B is to small, capital B, small B1, capital B, small B2. No combination is there. So, 2, capital B, small B. And third is small B and small B. And no one is there like that. So, small B, small B. So, 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, it's a genotypic ratio. Okay. Now, let's have a look. So here, I have taken some seeds. So, this is for white and this is for black. Okay. So, let's put them on this black and black. Okay. And white and white these are these show phenotype no sorry genotype okay so when the gamete formation will occur this one will go there and one will go there same is for white one will be here and second will be here now we can form b this b uh, let's I put it here no? so you can see what I have written here no? okay so this and this this one size is little bit different but I want to make sure that you can see understand it easily okay so you can see here uh, let it put it down same is for here and here this one is this one okay you can have a look Black tractor is dominant and white is recessive. When gamete formation will occur, this pair will break up and both the alleles will go in a different cell. You can see here. But when they form zygote, it's a zygote. So you can see that all are of different genes, different pair of genes, but the dominant will show its character and recessive we can't show it character okay so these all are will be of black color okay now what will be what will happen in our f2 generation cross between here and here cross between f1 generation okay so it's also like this right and this one and this one so this and this so when they form it's f2 generation black and black okay 
and one is white and one is black white and black okay then again black and white and the last one is purely white okay so here you can see the difference of genotype and phenotype so it's a genotypic black and white it's also uh, black and white is genotype and gametes form one black and one white black one and white one when we will come to its f2 generation then what will happen here so you can see here that purely black is one no one is same okay purely black is one and purely white is one but when we see there are two results with combinations of black and white but due to the dominance character of black the combination will show its color black okay so it's a phenotypic ratio black 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 and white and three is to one but when we talk about the genotype ratio black purely black is one combination of black and white but show its color black two means gene genes what type of genes in the cell so combination are there so that's why there are two and last one is purely white is one okay so i hope you have purely understood it na? so let's start with revision of this topic so black purely purely white when combined with combine combined with black and white then the genotype of the all the offsprings will be same means there is combination of black and white but due to dominant character the black will show its color and white will not show its color due to recessiveness okay when the organ uh, two of the organisms are taken from these uh, f1 generation and cross between them will show the different results so we can say here that there the results uh, present there are is different so three of are black and one is of white if we talk about the genotype of uh, the genes of the offsprings then we found that the one is of purely black and two are of combination of black and white and one is purely white so we can find find here that uh, during gamete formation the genes will segregate into different alleles and again combine in the uh, in zygote formation okay so i hope you have understood it uh, completely in next video we will talk about the second law of mendel that is independent assortment law so till then stay safe take care of yourself and your family and study hard bye bye